We are in Backup Exec 2014. I'm going to show you how to set up the email and text notification. So after a job is done, whether it was successful or not, you want to be notified. Go ahead and click in the upper left-hand corner. Click on Configuration and Settings. And then from here, click on Alert Notifications and then Email and Text Notification. So we, get, we go ahead and we start with the email server. Now the email server could be a public or, or private domain name or it could be an IP address. We'll just go ahead and make it an IP address. And it's just a fictitious address. By default, we're going to use the uh, port 25. And the sender name typically is going to be administrator. And the address is going to be administrator at, and we'll just put in test.com. All right, now if you have Relane set up on your email server, which if you're using Exchange, you would set up uh, the relay under the receive connectors and you'd set up an anonymous uh, receive connector pointing back to the IP address of this backup exec server. You don't need to use email authentication. If you don't have an anonymous uh, relay set up for this IP address, then what you want to do is turn on email notification authentication. So uh, again, here's our username. And it could be the email address or it could be the domain backslash username. And then you put in the password. And then when you're done, you go ahead and click OK. So in most email systems, when you uh, set them up, you say it doesn't matter what IP address they're coming from. If they're using a valid username and IP address, go ahead and allow the relay. So that's what this is for. But again, if you, if you have set up an anonymous relay, then you don't want to check this box. Otherwise, it will cause it to fail.